When we first run the software, a login dialog box will open. And because it's our first time using the program, we're going to create a new user account. We'll enter a user name. Then we enter a password. Type the password again and click Create. We can have the program remember our username and password. We just check the box here that says Remember My Login, then Log In. After we log in, we're brought to the home page. Let's start by seeing how to play a video. Start. First, the actor says a line of conversation. When the red recording light comes on, it's the user's turn to speak. The user reads the text prompt from the white dialog box. After recording, the user clicks Done Talking. This pattern continues until the conversation ends. We can save the recorded conversation by clicking Save. Or if we don't want to save, we can try again by clicking Redo. Now let's take a look at some of the other features of the software. There are a few useful tools for customizing the software. First, we'll look at the split screen and corner cam options in the record mode. The default setting when we record a video is on the split screen view. Here's what split screen looks like. The actor is in the box on the left and the user is in the box on the right. But we can change that. Let's go to Settings. Uncheck Record in Split Screen. Now when we record, the user appears in a corner cam, a small box on the top left of the screen. Both methods of recording work the same but it's nice to have the choice of the two different views. Now let's take a look at the full screen setting. When you log in for the first time, the full screen mode is off. You can choose to expand the software to full screen so that it fills up your entire screen space. In settings, check Use Full Screen Mode. The screen gets larger. To change back, just go to Settings again and uncheck Use Full Screen Mode. The Text Prompt feature is another preference that can be adjusted. It can be turned off and on, and the text itself can be modified. Every time we record video, a text prompt cues us what to say. The text dialog box appears at the top of the screen when it's the user's turn to speak. This text dialog box can actually be turned off in Settings. Just go to Settings and uncheck Show Dialog Text. Let's see how that looks. Now the text box is gone. The text prompts can also be changed. We just put the cursor inside the text prompt dialog box and type a new response. And that way we can have a lot of different conversations, not just the one in the text dialog box.